Saudara, tahukah anda ada komuniti Muslim Jepun yang agak besar di Singapura? Dalam Berita Plus minggu ini, kita tinjau satu usaha bagi sediakan jaringan sokongan untuk mereka sesuaikan diri di rantauan. Kelab Sakura yang ditubuhkan enam tahun lalu oleh pengasasnya Kaisha Abdullah atau nama asalnya Keiko Soweda dapat mengubat kerinduan para anggota pada tanah air mereka. Wartawan Nur Fazir Azman meninjau lebih dalam usaha itu bagi merapatkan lagi ukhwa dalam masyarakat itu di Singapura. Kelab Sakura yang bermula sebagai kumpulan simpang WhatsApp dengan dua anggota kini berkembang dengan hampir 60 anggota yang merupakan mu'alaf berasal dari Jepun. Malah, akaun Facebook Club ini, Japanese Muslims in Singapore, sudah mempunyai lebih 500 pengikut. Antaranya, Encik Yokoyama, 56 tahun, yang sudah menetap di sini lebih tiga dekad. I came here when I was 26 years old. Uh, I I came to know my wife uh, when I was uh, joining some youth program in 1989. So we slowly developed a relationship and then naturally we decided to settle our life in Singapore. Dengan tertubuhnya kelab ini, masyarakat Muslim Jepun di sini dapat bertukar pendapat dan menyokong satu sama lain dalam perjalanan kehidupan mereka di negara asing. When I married about 30 years ago, I didn't have this kind of uh, club. I didn't know any other Muslim, so I thought I'm alone. But after some years, I found out this club. We have a WhatsApp group, then uh, we can discuss about what our problem or what we need a help. There is uh, one uh, some event. We don't know what to uh, cook or something. Cik Maria juga berdepan cabaran untuk menyesuaikan masakannya untuk suami dan anak tersayang pada mulanya. Whatever I cook is the, you know, like a plain. Yeah, they complain. <laughs> but my, uh, alhamdulillah, my sister-in-law cook some blado. Now, whenever she cook, she share with us. So I need the, my sister-in-law's help. <laughs> so we are happy. But now my husband tongue become the Japanese tongue. She cannot take the pada. Menyesuaikan diri di sini adalah antara cabaran yang perlu mereka hadapi selain menanggung rindu terhadap orang tersayang. Ini lebih-lebih lagi pada waktu perayaan seperti Hari Raya Haji yang bakal menjelang. I think the sacrifice, well, for me is that. Um, I left my parents in Japan, so um, for all the sacrifices that they did for me, um, when you become a parent, you get to know and feel and understand that sacrifice what they went. Selain hari raya puasa dan kurban, anggota kelab Sakura juga menyambut perayaan Jepun seperti tanah bata. Japanese, we have so many festivities and and culturally um, we're very rich as well, um, and uh, we appreciate and we don't want to stop um, celebrating those uh, as long as it's you know it's not against Islam. And um, for example, we have uh, for example Girls' Day. You know, we um, make. Uh, Chirashizushi. So um, we, some of us, get together and uh, make uh, chirashizushi, and we eat the, uh, we eat them, and we have like Boys' Day for kashiwamochi, and we celebrate like Japanese New Year. The way we sort of like same as the concept of um, Hari Raya Puasa. Ini demi melestarikan adat dan budaya tradisi dengan anak-anak mereka yang membesar di sini. Antaranya adalah Cik Misato dan Cik Yasuka yang menghantarkan anak-anak mereka ke sekolah pemerintah. Sometimes uh, we like like homeworks must to make a something a craft with mommy and daddy. I always like make something uh, Jap related to Japan culture, like the origami. Sometimes I can teach her. I try to teach her how the Japanese culture very naturally. I don't want to force to, to her. The Japanese one is okay because I can teach them. On the other hand, uh, on a weekend, I can send them to the Japanese school. Uh, yeah, And then they will have friends, Japanese friends over there. 
Sokongan kukuh yang diberikan antara satu sama lain tidak pernah berbelah bagi, lebih-lebih lagi bagi mereka yang baru berhijrah ke sini seperti Cik Cika Usami yang baru sahaja bernikah dengan pasangannya Disember lepas. So it's very different from Japan. Uh, Japanese way you can just submit the paper to the world office. So I was thinking of that way, but it was very different. <laughs> So in Muslim way, you need to have a kadi and to do the Muslim marriage. So I didn't know we need to have that like a nikah, proper nikah process. Thankfully, my all my family didn't have any like negative image of Muslim. My mom said, "Oh, fasting is actually good for your health." Kelab Sakura berhasrat untuk mengembangkan kelab mereka dan mengalu-alukan golongan muda Muslim Jepun untuk membina rangkaian supaya tidak rasa kesepian di rantauan.